Angry protesters shout down LA City Council members who are voting on an anti-camping ordinance forcing a recess. That ordinance bans homeless encampments near schools and daycare centers. KTLA's Lauren Lister live in downtown LA with more. Lauren. Yeah, Micah and Mary Beth, that ordinance that would ban homeless encampments near schools, moving one step closer to law. That's despite protesters filling council chambers here at City Hall and for a time shutting the meeting down. Several dozen protesters disrupting the LA City Council meeting, opposing expansion of a law known as 4118 that regulates and allows some bans on homeless encampments. Activists showing up and shouting down support of an amendment that would bar encampments 500 feet from schools and daycares. To put the pressure on the city council to repeal 4118 because it's not solving the problem of houselessness. You cannot criminalize poverty. Emergency shelters are not enough. We need permanent supportive housing. We need all these hotels. We need all those hotels turned into permanent supportive housing. The debate comes as Project Room Key, a temporary housing program in hotel rooms, is set to wind down late September. This resident says she was first told she'd have to move this month. It's been extended, but she doesn't know where she'll go after that. I have no idea. Okay. So then this Saturday, we got another notice that says you don't have to be out. Now we're not closing until the end of September. Well, who do we believe? What do we do? Do we wait till last minute to be packed or, or what? This is what democracy looks like. The council president halting the meeting for about an hour. Back off. Back off. Until protesters cleared the room. Council members returning and voting on the measure 11 in favor. I am housing people and we're doing the outreach necessary to bring people inside. The least I can do for my community is to be able to clear the public right away for them to send their kids to school every day and feel safe. Three voted against it, one member arguing the ordinance is based on a false premise. That the problem is that people are refusing to go indoors and we have a plethora of opportunities for them. We don't have a place for 60% of the people who are on the street. And some council members saying they're moving forward on this ordinance in part because of the wishes of LA Unified School Superintendent, who says there are concerns from parents, teachers, and principals. Now, this isn't a done deal. This needs to come up for another vote and would need the majority in support in order to pass.